Happy Radashtami! Well, Reza, Sabina and Roger here. Let's celebrate the divine Radha with two videos. Mm. First, what is the relationship between Radha and Krishna by the YouTube channel Saga World? And Srila Prabhupada on why we worship Radha Rani. So let's find out more about the divine relationship and how we can connect with it and understand it. Yeah. Maybe get some insights on how we should be in our mm. physical manifested relationships. Let's find out. Beautiful. Radha Krishna. Wow. Jaise ek roop ke do naam rakh diye gaye hai. सदियां बीत गई इनकी प्रेम कहानियां सुनते सुनते पर किरदार आज भी नए हैं शास्त्रों के अनुसार राधा कृष्ण की आह्लादिनी शक्ति कही गई है यानी जो कृष्ण को आनंदित करे वो राधा है और कृष्ण का पूरा अस्तित्व राधा के बिना आधा है राधा कृष्ण की छवि देखे तो कृष्ण यहां एक पांव पर दूसरा पांव रखे बंशी बजाते खड़े दिखाई देते oh, हैं। इस मुद्रा को योगिक शास्त्र में त्रिभंग मुद्रा कहा गया है oh. ये प्रतीक है कृष्ण के त्रिभुवन पति होने का यानी जो तीनों लोकों का मालिक है oh. वही त्रिभुवन पति oh. कृष्ण जिस स्त्री के साथ खड़े हैं वो बरसाने गांव की गोपी है जिसके हाथ में एक कमल का फूल और दर्पण है ये कमल का फूल राधा के कृष्ण के प्रति समर्पित होने का प्रतीक है और कहा जाता है जिस दर्पण यानी आईने में राधा अपनी छवि देखती है उसे उसमें अपनी नहीं कृष्ण की छवि दिखाई देती है और कृष्ण भी अपनी बांसुरी तो हर गोपी के लिए बजाते हैं लेकिन वो केवल राधा को सुनाई देती है ये प्रतीक बताता है जिस ईश्वर को योग ध्यान तंत्र मंत्र जप और तपस्या से भी पाना बहुत मुश्किल है वो केवल प्रेम के भाव से पुकारने पर ही प्रकट हो जाते हैं और उन्हें आप जिस संबंध में बांधना चाहे वो उस संबंध में बंध जाते हैं राधा ने कृष्ण की पूजा नहीं की उनकी तपस्या नहीं की बस उनसे सच्चा प्रेम किया इसका अर्थ ये है कि प्रेम से प्राणी ही नहीं परमेश्वर भी प्राप्त हो जाते हैं ब्रह्म वैवर्त पुराण के अनुसार जब परमेश्वर ने संसार की रचना की रात की अंधेरी और सुबह की उजियारी बनाई सुख दुख बनाया और आंसू और खुशियां बनाई लेकिन जब उन्हें प्रेम की इच्छा जगी तो उस निराकार परमेश्वर ने खुद को एक ग्वाले के रूप में प्रकट किया जिसके माथे पर मोर पंख और हाथों में बंसरी थी परमेश्वर साक्षात कृष्ण के रूप में प्रकट हुए और उन्होंने अपने प्रेम की इच्छा को पूर्ण करने के लिए अपने बाएं हाथ से एक स्त्री को प्रकट किया What? वो स्त्री oh, राधा कहलाई जिसकी रचना ही इसलिए हुई थी कि ईश्वर स्वयं उससे प्रेम कर सके राधा केवल बरसाने की कोई ग्वालिन नहीं थी वो कृष्ण की कर्तृत्व शक्ति उनकी रचना शक्ति और आह्लादिनी शक्ति का प्रतीक थी कुछ तथ्य ये भी मानते हैं कि कृष्ण के वृंदावन छोड़ने के बाद राधा का विवाह हो गया था लेकिन इस बात का कोई भी पौराणिक और शास्त्रीय प्रमाण नहीं मिलता ये अतिरिक्त कथा बाद के कलमकारों ने जोड़ दी थी जबकि पुराणों में स्पष्ट लिखा है कि राधा कृष्ण के वृंदावन से जाने के बाद भी ता उम्र यमुना तट पे उनका इंतजार करती रही और उसे उसके प्रेम का वरदान देने कृष्ण को एक दिन लौटकर आना ही पड़ा गर्ग संहिता और ब्रह्म वैवर्त पुराण के अनुसार कृष्ण मथुरा के राजकुमार थे और राधा गाँव की ग्वालन थी कृष्ण सर्वशक्तिमान ईश्वर थे तो राधा मानवीय नारी थी कृष्ण सांवले थे तो राधा गोरी थी कृष्ण सजने धजने और श्रृंगार में विश्वास रखते थे और राधा सादगी और सहजता में विश्वास रखती थी और सबसे बड़ी बात राधा कृष्ण से एक दो वर्ष नहीं पूरे सोलह वर्ष बड़ी थी 
देखा जाए तो राधा कृष्ण के मिलन में अनेकों बाधाएं थी और अनेकों अड़चने खड़ी थी लेकिन प्रेम प्रेम तो फिर भी सच्चा था और इसी प्रेम ने राधा कृष्ण की अलौकिक प्रेम कहानी का इतिहास रचा था ओम श्री राधा कृष्ण अभ्याम नम Let's pause here for a second before we dive into Srila Prabhupada's video. Mm. Um yeah, the uh, some things I've never heard. Um also he created her out of her of out of his hand, left yeah, hand. Yeah, out of his left hand. But then she's 16 years old, 16 years older, but maybe she he created her making her 16 years older. Mhm. Yeah, so that's a bit confusing. So let us know what you guys know of that story how accurate it is but one thing i know for sure from diving into the hindu scriptures a little bit on this channel is that some things are just beyond our comprehension like we're dealing with ultimate deities mm. incarnating mm. this realm yeah manifesting within it um especially yeah vishnu avatars it's very mysterious it's beyond our attention to grasp entirely but we have to remain open to the divine possibilities and the fact that anything is possible mm-hmm. what i really liked was talking about their relationship as being very much kind of like shiva shakti yeah you know uh yeah this divine play of cosmic energy and they're incomplete without each other so it's not like the same sort of carnal love and attraction that we see in the material world right it's very much a divine love and i'm talking about of course anybody can have this relationship with the almighty shri krishna and even more potently radha krishna together so we got to mm. we got to remain open right we got to love and then taking that example and then being love in the world right so It's fundamental at this crucial point in human history we need to love hmm. i loved seeing all the images yeah that was very beautiful oh, so moving and just hearing about lord krishna and radha it's just oh mm-hmm. it's so soothing okay oh, yeah. so let's hear more radha rani is hari priya very dear to krishna hmm. yeah krishna so if we approach krishna through radha rani through the mercy of radha rani mm-hmm. then it uh, it becomes very easy mm-hmm. if radha rani recommends that this devotee is very nice then krishna immediately accepts mm-hmm. i have a fool i may be because <laughs> it is recommended by radha rani krishna accepts mm-hmm. oh therefore in vrindavan you will find all the devotees they are chanting more radha rani's name than krishna no oh, wow. what hmm. wherever you will go you will find the devotees are addressing jai radhe we find still in vrindavan uh, they are glorifying radha rani hmm. uh, they are more interested worshiping radha rani Mm-hmm. Uh, because however fallen I may be, if somehow Radha, I can please Radha Rani, then it is very easy for me to understand Krishna. Radhe Radhe Radhe. Oh, that's it. Rade rade. This was super short, but we tried another video and that didn't quite work out. So this is all we have to offer here from Prabhupada. Okay, mm. you want to summarize what he said? Yeah, but sh- very short but straight to the point. Um yeah, we know so Radha Rani is another yeah access point of course to the divine. Mm. being one with krishna so we got to keep that in mind that they're one cosmic energy similar to yeah shiva shakti so this union of the divine masculine and divine feminine right so by worshiping yeah radha it's almost like he's saying that she's even more merciful and if she approves then then you're in 
basically. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Your sins will be washed away, and your purification process will start. And of course, Lord Krishna will accept you because, mm-hmm. yeah, if Radha accepts you, then he's going to accept all, yeah, Radha devotees. So, yeah, it's very accessible to, yeah, spiritual seekers in general, especially for those who have read and connected to the Bhagavad Gita and that we're understanding mm-hmm. those divine teachings. So, we're talking about ultimate reality delivered on this planet for the benefit of all human beings all spiritual seekers those who are ready to transcend yeah this mundane existence and get into the higher spiritual realms yeah it's an incredibly glorious joyful time so got to take advantage yeah and then seek the divine whether you're worshiping radha krishna Mm -hmm. or shiva shakti or Hanumanji or Ram Sita, however it is mm-hmm. for you. It's absolutely fantastic because these divine incarnations, they're one in reality. So yeah, and I find that so in the Western religions it's kinda it's kinda missing the divine feminine, right? So here it's it's very clearly prominent. Even the highest form, you can also see it as Ma Durga, right? So they're just up there. They're equal. Mm. Parvati, Saraswati, right? Lakshmi. It's great. Yeah. Okay. Does it feel good to have some divine feminine? Uh, yeah, but I still feel, I don't I don't have much of a connection to Radha. Mm. It's just Krishna directly. I was yeah. actually chanting the Hare Krishna mantra in my dream last night. Mm. <laughs> so mm. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's still okay. So we got to keep in mind that that also is not that big of a deal. It's if you're a Krishna devotee, you don't have to be as devoted to Radha. I don't think that's what he's saying, right? It's entirely it's the divine, right? So however you feel connected, we can use that connection Mm -hmm. to access the divine and to be devoted to worship. Yeah, and that's what it's all about. So to be bhakti. Exactly. To soften the heart, to open the heart. Yeah. To merge with the Lord. To become loving, to be unafraid, right? So letting go of the fear, the pride, the shame, the guilt, everything that comes along with these lower modes of material nature, Mm -hmm. we're letting go and we're connecting with our spiritual beingness right the consciousness the inner self right mm, radi radi friends mm. thanks so much for celebrating with us yeah 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 i hope you guys had an amazing celebration yeah. for those of you who celebrated and then well of course there's always celebrations happening <laughs> in sanat and dharma so whatever celebration you're more connected to yeah Hope it's amazing, and we hope to join you soon. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Mm. <laughs> Radhe, Radhe, Hare Krishna. Mm.